Ah, the sweet smell of Halloween. This is one of my favorite times of year. The fresh smell of firecrackers and pumpkin pie. That smell brings back great memories as a kid. And one of my favorite activities during the season is carving the pumpkin. But there is a strategy to picking the right one. The color, the weight, the smell, and the shape of the stem. And once you've found the right pumpkin, it's go time. But then, the idea of what to carve becomes a challenge. So in the meantime, let's do some drawing. Let's grab a piece of paper and something to draw with because today we're going to be drawing Billy the Puppet from Saw. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So we move over to the left side and draw on the upper eyelid. Start on the outside, we're going to curve up and then down on the inside. Leaving a gap in the center, we're going to draw the same thing over on the right. So let's line up the inside of the eyelid, curve up and then down. Now we're going to curl in the brow. Starting from the left, curl around in the center, and then out. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. Now we just want to accentuate the brow, so we're going to add another curve along the top. Starting on the left, we're going to follow the same curve of the brow, going across. Now let's draw in the eye socket. From the left side, we're going to step in, we want to draw a large half circle. Come down and go up underneath the brow. On the inside of the eye socket, we're going to add two rings, starting from the left side at the top and draw a circle. Going all the way around, back up to the top. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now I just want to trace this out on the inside. And then we're going to fill the inside circle in black. Now we're going to go in and fill the outside of the eye socket in black. Let's move to the center and down and draw on the tip of the nose. So we're going to draw a U shape. Starting from the left, curve down and then up. And then we'll move to the side and draw on the nostril. Starting from the left, curve around. Almost like drawing a C. We'll go in the opposite direction on the right side. Now we're going to move down and draw on the mouth. Starting from the left, we're going to curve up and then down. Now we're going to round out the side of the chin. From the left, we're going to curve out and then in. Same thing on the right. Now we're going to round out the bottom of the chin and come up in the center. So on the left, we'll curve around and up in the middle and come down on the right side. Now let's go in and add the lips. We're going to move over towards the left side. We're going to curve in between the nose and the mouth and back up on the right. Come down and then up. Now we're going to curve down and in underneath the chin. On the left, and then the right. Now let's add in the bottom lip. Starting from the left, we're going to curve down and up. We're going to round this out, going over towards the right, and then we'll curve this up towards the outside of the jaw. Let's add a short line in the center, just to separate out the chin. Now let's move to the side and draw on the cheeks. Starting underneath the eyelid on the left, we're going to round up the cheek, pull that up and in, sort of aiming towards the corner of the mouth. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping down, rounding out the cheek, and then coming up. Now we're going to step out and draw on the lower part of the jaw. Starting from the left side, we're going to curve down and then in behind the chin. Let's add that swirl pattern on the side of the cheeks. Starting on the left, it's almost like drawing a half circle. You curve in towards the eye, around, and then down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving in, around, and then down. I just want to trace this out on the inside, all the way around. 
And we're gonna repeat this all the way out towards the side of the cheek. So add a few more. And go to the right and do the same thing. Let's move back up to the nose and draw a curve going out and then down, aiming towards the corner of the mouth on both sides. Now that we complete the face, let's draw on the top of the head. We start above the cheek on the left side. We're going to curve around to the top and then back down on the right side. Start out here, curving around towards the top of the head. And we'll come down on the right side, on top of the cheek. We move to the center along the top. Let's draw a straight line going up towards the top of the hair. Now from here, we're going to curve out and then down. So start with the left side. And curve out, bring that down to right about there. Do the same thing on the right. Coming out and then down. Now from here we're going to bump out the bottom of the hair and then pull that in. So we're going to go out and then pull that in. We're going to add a couple more bumps along the bottom of the hair. Starting on the left side, we'll curve down and up. Do the same thing on the right. Do that one more time and tuck this in behind the head. All right, we completed the head. Let's work our way down the body. We start with the size of the body first. So over on the left side, curve out and then down towards the hip. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now from the hip, I want to curve in and up in the center. Going up towards the middle and back down on the right. Let's move up underneath the chin and draw on the bow tie. So in the middle, we draw a small half circle. Now from the left side, we're going to angle down and out towards the left and then the right. And then we're going to pull that straight up underneath the chin. Let's add the inside of the jacket collar. Starting on the left, underneath the bow tie, we're going to angle down and in towards the middle, up on the right. Now we're going to connect these two points with a straight line. Now from this point, we're going to step down, we're going to angle up and out around the bow tie, and we're going to pull this in and up underneath the chin. Let's add a couple buttons on the right side. One circle on the top, and then one on the bottom. Let's add the pocket square on the right side. We start with a straight line. On the left, we're going to angle up and in, and then we'll angle down. Now let's go to the right side. We're going to angle up and in. Now we're going to tuck that in behind that line. We're going to continue working down with the legs. In the center, step down, draw a curve from left to right. Going up and then down, leaving a small gap in the middle. We go to the left side. We'll curve out and down towards the left heel, out and down towards the right heel. Now we're going to round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the heel, we'll curve down and up towards the toe. Now let's draw on the top of the foot. It's almost like drawing a half circle from the toe to the heel. So we're going to curve up. And we're not going to go all the way. We're going to stop right about there. And we're going to bend this up towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming up, aiming towards the heel, and then we're going to bend that up. Let's move up to the hip and draw on the side of the leg. Starting from the corner, we're going to step in, curve out, round up the leg, and then pull that in on top of the foot. Let's thicken up the sole. We're going to take this curve, step up, and trace that along the top. Now let's move up and draw on the arms. We start halfway between the chin and the bottom of the jacket. So right here, we curve out and down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Then from the wrist, we're going to round out the thumb. We'll draw a small half circle curving in and then back out. And at the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. Do the same thing on the right. 
Now back on the left side, I'm going to draw on three fingers. Start from the bottom of the thumb, curve down and up the first finger, step down, curve down and up the second finger, now the third finger, curve around, pull that up and in behind the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with the first finger, second finger, now the third finger, you're going to go all the way around and then in behind the head. Now we're going to finish this off with the cuff, starting from the wrist, we'll curve down and up. Do the same thing on the right. We're going to draw that same curve again, just up above, to the edge of the jacket. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Billy the Puppet from Saw. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.